Good morning, Nuggets. It is your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance, and I hope you all are doing well. I am doing better. I am in a space of gratitude, a space of understanding. Um, peace is off and on, to be honest. Peace is off and on. Um, but all in all, doing pretty good, and I hope you are as well. Um, morning meditations are becoming louder but in that they are becoming clearer so I just kind of want to share with you what I've been getting here lately there's a lot of you know end of the year energy and um people scrambling to do things and get things done and have things look a certain way and still, you know, some are still trying to hold on to some kind of normalcy when it comes to celebrating the holidays, especially here in the States, from what I've seen. Um, and the energy does feel kind of scrambled and kind of um, it's not heavy but I will say that there's a thickness to um, it's not a, a, a super low frequency I'll say but it's more of a um, a thicker vibration everybody is getting a little bit more intense with things I believe that people are awakening to their duality I know I am and some people don't like what they see but because it is what others know of them they continue to perpetuate it but then feel bad within themselves for doing so and then lash out at others I'm guilty of that but I'm also in um in the space of recognizing and asking myself why those feelings are are coming up and how to heal them how to see what is supposed to be seen in them rather than continuing the cycle, rather than um, projecting that out onto others, I'm really doing that go within because there are things about myself that need to um, improve, things that just need to be done away with, and things that I need to grow. So I'm in that mind space for myself and creating this channel was you know about me using my gifts to make money not gonna lie but in doing this I've also you know got caught up in well nobody's liking my stuff and nobody's doing this and I have 
done this and this and this for so and so and I don't understand why we're not supporting each other and blah 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 and I had to sit my sit myself down because the understanding or the 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 purpose of this is not really to do that anymore um whoever that you know gets this gets this and i'm grateful and hopefully something i say sparks something in you to do what it is that you are called to do with this information um There is an energy of warning in this last couple of weeks of 2020. Um, and the warning is, um, we've always been told to beware of the wolves in sheep's clothing. But... the herder is also to be watched because of all of his sheep one of them will become sacrificial one of them is chosen to um, be the meal be the clothing be the the one to give of him or herself for the greater good so in that sense the shepherd is also in is looked at as an innocent until the day that they're not okay there is that there is also the the shepherd's dog the shepherd's dog is there to corral the sheep okay and to make sure everybody is in their in their place but he is loyal to the shepherd and what the shepherd says goes so there is that um, metaphor and take with that what you will I have just been um, in the mind space of um, coming into understanding of a lot of the things that I have been taught uh, things that have been placed upon me as expectation in good intention um, coming into understanding and, and knowing my place but also the place of those around me and understanding we all go through we've all been through maybe not from the same perspective and not all of us are capable my ear is ringing now right here not all of us are willing I won't say capable we're all capable not all of us are willing to look at those things that we do to mm, protect our egos and though it may not look like anything to us we're always the villain in someone's story um and in that I was taking that on as being a victim because I know my intentions however when you get into a space of where you feel like you're being 
energetically attacked. You look at stuff a lot different. You look at people a lot different. You look at motives a lot different. And in that, you change. In doing so, you change. Your perspective changes. Your, um, your actions change. Your thinking changes. And um, opening this door of spirituality and actually being embodying myself instead of um, being the super sensitive person that always took into account other people's feelings and making other people feel comfortable because I didn't want to feel uncomfortable. It kind of flipped into this um, victim mindset. And that's not the case. None of us are victims unless we claim it. No one can do anything to us unless we allow it. And the more focus and energy you put on it and you give to it, the more power you give away. Big light bulb moment, big understanding with that. When you were once in one way and it was comfortable for others it made others you know okay to do how they f saw fit and, and were allowed to and then you you get into the space where you're, you're no longer accepting of those things and you take into yourself the understanding of God's love and what that means and what that looks like you get to a space where you take back your power and you, your whole being becomes quote unquote rebellious. And it's rebellious in the, in the space of you no longer accept the things that you used to accept. You no longer do the things that you used to do. And you give your permission, yourself permission to just be. Um, being that free for yourself is humbling and it is empowering empowering but it's also something that is kind of scary because when you take that off, when you take off your, um, for one, you t when you take off your fears, when you take off um, the restraints that you put on yourself and then take off the expectations and restraints of others, it seems a little combative. And people aren't used to you being like that. So, kind of puts up, you know, a mirror to other people that, okay, wait a minute, maybe I'm not doing something here. And people are, don't like to see their fears. 
people don't like to see their mistakes people like to think that they are perfect hello I am people I like to think that I am perfect and I do things correctly all the time I don't because I am human but that is not an excuse to do something because I'm human the purpose is to evolve and do better and to grow and when you do that for yourself you become a reflection to those around you and some people don't like seeing their reflection I know it, it kind of you know causes triggers but when you face the fear of yourself it's freeing um, you've all seen the meme that says you know um, it's the one with um, not the fix your vision one. okay I can't think of I'm looking at it but I can't think of the words that it's saying so that that probably means something These last couple of weeks are just really, truly clearing out things that no longer serve us. For a lot of us, that is thinking lowly of ourselves and um, those around us, having stinking thinking. And we are awakening to that about ourselves. For others, you know, it's a it's more tangible like a career change or a job move or you know, moving to a different state. And then yet others it is um learning to go forward and move on after the loss of a loved one and heartache and things of that nature so when we do this and we go through these these energies and all of this It's bringing us closer to who we are actually truly called to be and there are times when well there used to be not so much anymore because I am in the understanding now that everything happens for a reason I create my own world and it is my right and responsibility to do better with what I know but we are in a space of um, evolving and what we learn we are to teach to those that are coming And so, you know, my environment may not be what it is that I wish to see, but I am in the space of being completely grateful because it is what I have created. And if I can create this much, I can create more. Um, if I can see this much about myself, I can see more and it's not about yes we all have to abide by the you know rules of society in a sense but 
there is nothing that I cannot do. There is nothing that will keep me from achieving any goal that I set forth for myself. And I'm afraid of that, but I also embrace it. I know that some of these TT talks get really personal and when you evolve, you collect not only the good and attract the good, but the not so good comes as well. So be mindful of your energy and I'll be mindful of mine. Okay. Um, twenty twenty one is the energy is already upon us. So be mindful of that, but also be mindful of the energy of your intentions. Intentions are everything. You cannot speak a word, but your intentions are felt. First and foremost, we are energetic beings. That is why when some people have heart attacks, it takes paddles to shock them because we are energy. So, be mindful of your intentions. Um, as much as we are keep it real and keeping it 100 and all that stuff, a lot of us do not. As much as we all like to say that we walk in love and we don't wish anything horrible or harmful on anyone, you can say those words, but your actions and your intentions speak louder than that. So let's be mindful of not just the person that we put out there, but the person who we truly are. Okay? So, I'm going to close with that part of TT Talks, and I send you all blessings and light, and I love you. If you would like to get in contact with me to do a spiritual message, all of my information will be down in the description box below. Please like, share, and comment. I think I have the comments on. If I don't, just email me. My email's down there. And we can talk. I'm going to be playing. I'm not going to put on any airs. Because it is about growth. So if we're growing, we're growing. If we're staying stuck and stagnant, stay in 2020. Okay? I love you. I send you so many blessings. And I pray your peace. I pray your peace. Thank you, Nuggets. I love you. Blessings and light. Take care.